So good afternoon, everyone. This is, again, part of the introduction of your subject, Introduction of Philosophy. Introduction to Philosophy of the Human Person. So first, let us define what is philosophy. Philosophy comes from the ancient Greek word for wisdom, Sophia, and devotion, Philo. So traditionally, the term meant something like love of wisdom. So in your subject, we're going to talk about a lot of things. That's why philo philosophy is love of wisdom. Today, we tend to view philosophy as a way of seeking to understand the nature of reality itself where reality includes our very way of thinking about it. So nowadays, we just don't live our life. We ask a lot of things about life. So papasok dito ang Philo because in Philo, they ask a lot of things about life, about man, about the things around us, and many more. So in philosophy, there are major sub-disciplines that are found. So there are four major or five, five major subdisciplines in philosophy. The first subdiscipline or branch, as they say, is epistemology. Epistemology is the philosophical study of knowledge. So in in the subject philosophy, kapag pinag-uusapan ay about knowledge, that falls under epistemology. They ask, what is knowledge? Can we have knowledge? And how do we get knowledge? So a lot of philosophers ask those questions and they come up with ideas about it. So kapag tinatanong ay about knowledge, it is epistemology. Okay? The next subdiscipline or branch is metaphysics. Metaphysics is the philosophical study of reality. Here, in metaphysics, there are three sub-branch elect. It is ontology, philosophy of mind, and philosophy of religion. So, in ontology, they ask what kind of things actually exist. So, in ontology, ang mga hinahawakan mo ba ay ang define na existing or yung mga nakikita mo are the existing things. Or may mga nakikita ba tayo or may mga hindi ba tayo nakikita ang existing? Those are the questions connected to ontology about existence. The next one is the philosophy of mind. In philosophy of mind, they ask, what is the nature of consciousness? So ang konsyensya, they ask about conscience. Consciousness, I should say. Consciousness. Bakit may kamalayan tayo that is consciousness? Why are we, uh, why do we feel this way? Bakit nagbubuhay tayo sa mundo? Those are consciousness. The next one is philosophy of religion. In philosophy of religion, they ask, what is the nature of God? So, dito, tinatanong nila ang mga about God. What is the nature of God? Where did God came from? Why there are a lot of religions and they have different gods? So, yan yung mga questions sa philosophy of religion. The next subdiscipline is astrology. Here is the philosophical study of value. So, yung mga values natin, yung mga obedience, um, and then the other values na meron tayo. So, there are three. No, not three. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six other sub-branch under astrology. The first one is ethics. Ethics is the philosophical study of morality. In morality, they ask what makes an action right or wrong. So, Yung gawain mo ba ay tama or mali? 
yung decision mo ba ay tama or not? Or yung mga ginagawa mo ay morally right ba or wrong? Moral ba or immoral? So those are the questions connected with ethics. So what do the words right and wrong actually mean? Yes, yung mga tinatanong sa ethics. Still, ethics is under philosophy. The next one is the political theory. The philosophical study of justice. So just like ethics, they ask the right and wrong and many other things. In, in political theory, they study justice the mind. So connected ang ethics at political theory. Because if you did something wrong, they will put justice on you, right? Okay. The next one is the aesthetic. It is the philosophical study of beauty. So here they ask, what makes a person beautiful? How do we define beauty? Why the beauty in this or, or why your perception of beauty is different from the perception of beauty of other people? So in aesthetic, they ask about beauty. In philosophy of literature naman, they ask why different literatures are made and they they actually reflect um, emotions. So, ang daming katanungan sa philosophy. Yeah. The next one is philosophy of art. Ito naman yung interpretations of different arts. Bakit ang ibang artists um, interprets their art like this? And I don't interpret their art like that. So they ask those questions in philosophy of art. And also with music. Bakit mayroong interpretation ang music na naririnig natin? May mga music na nakakapagpasaya sa atin. May music na nakakalungkot kapag narinig natin. And many more. So, so basically, sa philosophy, questions. Ang ma- ang kinocoverage niya. So the next one is logic. Logic is the philosophical study of reasons and arguments. What is an argument? What makes an argument work? And what makes an argument fail? So arguments are statements and ideas that has um, positive and negative sides. Yes. Bakit or an example of argument is yung argument ng mga um, pro-life na tinatawag nila sa abortion, mga ganun. So, kapag may uh, conflict of interest, there is an argument. Sa, sa classroom, may argument, mga ganun. Bakit? Para sa kanya, tama siya. Para sa kanya, tama siya. Ganun. Those are arguments and reasons. The last one is philosophy or history of philosophy. The philosophical explanation of the development of ideas. Here, they ask about people and ideas. What did philosophers of the past think about and why? How do ideas arise over time and influence the development of new ideas in the future? So, paano nagsimula ang philosophy? Bakit nagtanong sila ng mga, nung nagtanong sa mga ideas na umuusbong? Ano ba ang palagay ng mga philosophers dati? Diba? Ang daming katanungan na nabuo ng mga philosophers noon. And still, those questions are still unanswered today. Kaya natin pinag-aaralan. And we also reflect on those questions that they ano, made. So to better understand the Subdisciplines of philosophy. This is the diagram of it. So the center is the philosophy. The new subdisciplines niya is epistemology, metaphysics, history of philosophy, logic, and sociology. So, ang mga subdisciplines ng philosophy ay merong branches in it. So metaphysics is the philosopher of mind, philosophy of religion. Universal, Ontology, <coughs> Causality, then sa History of Man, People and Ideas, sa Logic, Categorical, 
propositional, predicate and mathematical, sociology, ethics, aesthetic and politics, and the epistemology, skepticism and dogmatism. So those things will be discussed soon. So let us reflect on these ideas from philosophy. So philosophy also has a profoundly personal dimension. Many, of, many, if not most, people will at some point in their life struggle with philosophical questions. So in philosophy, these are the most used questions. Paulit-ulit na tinatanong ng mga philosophers, ng mga students, ng mga teachers, ang mga questions na to that they encounter during philosophy subject. Number one, why am I here? So in the philosophers before, they ask, bakit ka nandito? Bakit ka kaya nabuhay? Diba? I always ask that to myself. Bakit nandito ako ngayon? I am a teacher of global. Bakit ka naging sigante ng global? Or bakit ka pinanganak sa mundo? Diba? Why do bad things happen? So, bakit nga ba nangyayari ang mga natural disasters? Bakit may mga problema ang dumadating sa buhay mo? So, those are the questions. Next one, is their consciousness beyond the death of the body? So, totoo bang merong soul? And that soul is the uh, consciousness na hindi na mamatay kapag namatay ang katawan? Diba? They said, because there is a touch of religion in philosophy, there is this body and soul. So, totoo bang my soul? That is the consciousness after death. Totoo bang ang kapag namatay ka lang, ang katawan mo lang ang mamatay, pero deep inside you're still alive? So, those are the questions. Are the choices I make really free? And will they have an impact on my future? So, yung mga ginagawa ba natin ay free or libre lang? Or it will, the payment will be soon? Or yung mga ginagawa mo ba ngayon na pag-aaral, pakikinig sa teacher, pag-enroll sa global, makaka-attack ko ba yung sa future mo? Or walang attack ko? Diba? Yung mga ginagawa mo ba araw-araw ay it will lead you to success or not? So those are the questions. May effect ba yung ginagawa mo ngayon sa kinabukasan mo? Na aring oo or hindi, di ba? So those are the questions in philosophy. And lastly, and they always ask this question, who am I? Sino ka ba? Di ba? Pati si Jesus nang tinanong, who are you? I am who I am, sabi niya. That is the quest, or that is the answer of Jesus from that question, who am I? Pero paano natin sasagutin ang who am I as a person? Diba? So sa different field, sa psychology, may interpretation ng who am I, sa anthropology, meron din. Pero paano mo sasagutin ang who am I in philosophy? So those are the questions. Being aware of these questions, struggling with possible answers, considering how others have tried to answer them, makes up the personal dimension of philosophy. So, yan yung mga madalas na tinatanong sa philosophy. So, as a student, right now, you may reflect on those questions now. So, what do we do in philosophy? There is this principle called ex nihilo, nihil fi. So, is be reminded about this um, saying, ex nihilo, nihil fi. Out of nothing comes nothing. The work you put in is the value of the grade. So, ex nihilo, nihil fi, meaning, kapag hindi ka nag, hindi ka nag effort sa studies mo, wala kang grade, hindi ka pa kasi. In life, they uh, connect ex nihilo, nihil fi, Kapag hindi ka ginawa ng magulang mo, wala ka sa mundo nito. That's it. So, as a student, ang ex ni Hilo ni Hilpit mo is kapag hindi ka nag-strive as a student, walang 
wala kang grade or hindi ka papasa. The next one is, I think, therefore, I am. Understand how you think, work, and figures things. So, if you think that you are going to be successful, someday, magiging successful ka. Right now, if you think that you're going to pass and you put some work on it, papasa ka. Then lastly, those shall do the reading on time. Magbasa. So these are the principles or sayings na kailangan natin i-inculcate sa ating mga mind in taking our philosophy class. Those shall do the reading on time. Magbasa kapag may tinong sa aralin si ma'am. Magbasa bago mag-take ng exam. And many other things. So, please be reminded about these three things that kapag ginawa niyo mga to, for sure, papasakayan. 